G'day and welcome to Icarus, how to survive a bear attack. Now I'm going to try and do this with as low a level a character as possible to give myself as little advantage as I can, but I do need to get to level 1 so that I can unlock the bow. The bow is far and away the easiest way to take on a bear because you can shoot at it at range and then use the dodge mechanics to your advantage. You can certainly do this with a melee weapon such as a knife, and I'll demonstrate how bad I am at melee, but how possible it is <laughs> later in the video. So with my points from level 1, I have specced into the bow, and I have specced into stone arrows. That's all I'm using to attack this bear. I am level 1, I haven't used any talent points. But what you really need to keep in mind is that you are going to use stamina during this fight, because you have to charge past the bear every time it comes at you. If you don't manage to get around its hitbox when you do this, it can end really badly really quickly. If we look carefully at one of the moments when I'm trying to charge past the bear, you can see me kind of hit into it and just dodge slightly to the side of the bear. It's that hitting of the bear's hitbox that can bring you down. You need to make sure that you just get past it. So what I do is I try and charge straight at it and dive to the side just at the last moment. For the most part, this has worked pretty well. But, you know, the, <laughs> these things are never perfect. And if you get snagged on a bush, snagged on a little tree, something like that, it can be the end of it. Because you need to keep that distance going. Keep coming around, taking another shot, coming around, taking another shot, use its charges against it. And you can pretty easily take these things down when you've got a bow. Now, as I mentioned, with a knife, things get a little more tricky. So with a knife, you actually have to time your attack, not just aim your attack. With the bow, it was really easy because I could hit the bear at a distance and then just focus purely on my charging to get past it. But with the knife, I have to time my attack to hit it as the bear's going past me. And not get myself stuck, like I did just there, on the bear's hitbox. Because then you get in this situation where the bear just mauls you and things go horribly, horribly wrong. Unless you get lucky. At least for a little bit. But as you can see, it is possible to do damage and charge past the bear and get that clearance you need so that it has to keep charging at you. And those charge attacks are what gives you the space you need to keep yourself safe. With melee weapons, I find it's a bit more tricky to keep my stamina going because I feel like I need to charge for longer. But what you can do is just run at the bear normally and then just use sprint to get past it. But even then, <laughs> if you're as bad at melee as I am, it still goes terribly wrong. Another thing to be careful about is that this sort of style of fighting requires a fair bit of space, but it also requires that you only have the one enemy to fight. And as you're about to see, things can go very wrong when something else decides to join in and try and eat you while the bear does. And that little wolf is going to be my undoing. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Because I can't take on the wolf and the bear at the same time because the wolf keeps getting me at different moments to when the bear does. And then it all goes poorly. So if you hear a wolf howl and you're trying to take out a bear, probably best to use that time to take out the wolf and then find the bear afterwards rather than attempting to take on both at once. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you've got any additional tips on the best way to take on a bear, let me know, because I'm getting better at this, but I still think there's a fair bit of work I could do to improve my own fighting style in Icarus. And so I'd like to know how. If there are other areas of Icarus you'd like to see some tutorials on, let me know. But otherwise, hopefully I'll see you at the next live stream. And there's all that and plenty more to come, and I will see you then.